Oh, live from Portsmouth, Shock and Oh presents three three minute rounds in an amateur mixed martial arts flyweight contest. Introducing first in the red corner of the record of four wins and two defeats, weighing in at 125 pounds, representing GB top team from Hillington, Samuel Slick Welsh. And now please welcome his opponent in the blue corner with a record of one win and one defeat. Weighing in at 124.7 pounds. Fighting out of Jim 01 from Portsmouth. Hazi Choo Choo Chapter. Your referee in charge of the action, Charlotte Lawrence. Charlotte Lawrence proud to get this one underway. Three three minute rounds of amateur flyweight MMA. Samuel Welsh in the black with green trim. Ozzy Jatta in the solid black trunks. Touch of gloves and we are underway. Both guys coming out of very high caliber gyms here, so. Expect fireworks. Yeah, last time uh, Ozzy was here, Ozzy Jasser was here, he was, looked, looked very good, very sharp. Yeah. 
looking to move his record into positive numbers tonight as Jatter takes a nice right hand there from Samuel Welsh though. Welsh the more experienced of the two, it's seventh amateur fight here tonight. Looks to barrel in but gets muscled into the side of the cage by Jatter. Yeah, Welsh doing a good job, kick that under hook. Oh, good work from Jatter here, can he take the back? Good scramble, Samuel Welsh is up and he's looking for that single leg. Let's it go. Jatter turns his man onto the cage. Yeah, great job doing that. Oh, beautiful throw there by Jatter. Nice knee to the body. And another perfect placement on those. Yeah, Jatter's doing a good job of framing off the face. Um, to keep his man in the cage. Again, he's you know he's the one putting the pressure on in this position. Well, she's corner. We're asking for the double leg takedown, but their man gets taken down. Right. Ozzy Jasper stepping straight into mount with the arm traps. Oh, good work there from Welsh to free his left arm. But this is a bad spot, just under a minute to play with here for Ozzy Jatter. Yeah, I mean, does, does Ozzy disengage a little bit and start striking, or is he looking for a sub? Oh, good work from Samuel Welsh underneath to unseat his man there. He's got the, or had the butterfly hooks in now, looks. The close guard. Yeah, I mean that's that's good work there. Oh, oh. beautifully snaps on the armbar. Oh, this is tight. tight. Aussie Jats are in trouble here. Ten seconds. Tough to see how much of a bite he's still got on that arm. Aussie Jatta has not submitted as of yet, wow. and he rides the round out. But that was a very strong finish. You heard Brad Pickett call armbar and Samuel Welsh snapped it on in a millisecond. Yeah, I mean, Ozzy got up and it just, you know, he, he had the look of somebody that was, was fine. He was never in any trouble, but I don't know. <laughs> it looked pretty tight. It looked pretty close. And nice to see a really active guard from Welsh as well, you know, but being able to, to snap on a submission straight away is, is great. I just think the clock was maybe against him a little bit at the end there. Yeah, I mean, we've seen one buzzer beater armbar already tonight, and we very nearly got two there. But that's going to give uh, Samuel Welsh a lot of confidence that that's there from the guard. If you can find it again in this second round. And, and Aussie too, you know, that's going to be a confidence boost to know that he can survive that, that bad position. Yeah, I mean, up until that point, Aussie was doing a great job on the fence. He was doing all the right things reversing positions and everything you know jumped straight into mount um, Welsh did do a good job though to get back to close guard the touch gloves and we are underway with round two both guys come out looking the box early oh nice head kick there from Welsh Jatter takes it like a champ though Clinch up, center of the cage. And again, Jatta able to turn his man onto the fence, but they really are jockeying for position here. And again, that similar throw attempt that we saw in the first round didn't work for him in the second, though. Yeah, I mean, Ozzy looks really strong in this position. He's, every time he's reversing. Oh, nice takedown. Beautiful work from Ozzy Jatta there. You hear Brad Pickett in the corner saying work positions and look to get up. So they want to threaten with the, the, the sub and he's looking for the oh. bar again. And he could have an, another good bite here. Now what could work against him is that the fence is very, very close to Jasper. So he might not be able to flatten his man out. 
but he might be able to come belly down if you, if you can clear his head. Very awkward position here. Yeah, it's a very tough position. It's almost, almost fully extended. Has Ozzy Jatta got his elbow just past that fulcrum point? Yeah, it's really hard to see, but it's looking tight. Oh, there's the extension. Jasper trying to come out the back door and oh. does beautiful stuff. And now striking from this back mount position. Good work from Samuel Welsh to get back to his feet, but he's got Jatta to deal with on his back now. Yeah, Jatta with the single hook, well, the triangle on the one leg. Welsh to roll through and take the back. Jatta back to his feet though. Looking to strip those arms. Welsh just trying to drag his man down off the fence here. Twenty seconds on the clock. They separate. That's another takedown attempt from Jatta. Nice. Gets it. Single butterfly from Samuel Welsh, and that's how the round will end. And we will go to a third frame here. And what well, has been another all action contest at Shock and All 32. Yeah, I mean, I really like um, I liked Samuel Welsh from his back. You know, he's very aggressive with his with his submissions. He twice went for the for the armbar, and they both look close. You know. Um, they look like they were they possibly could be there so he's got a very aggressive guard um but i think at the moment on the stand-up aussie's got a little bit more control when it goes up onto the fence he seems to be able to always reverse the position and he's hit a few takedowns as well so um yeah good job yeah the phys fights. the physically stronger the two in the clinch i'd say we saw samuel welsh going for that head kick though early on as well so that's something that jatta is going to have to keep an eye on especially as we enter the third round and the guys think getting a little bit more tired and the hands start to drop a little bit. And this is one of those fights where you still don't know how this third round is going to play out based on the first two. And that's testament to the matchmaking here and obviously testament to the two camps that we're seeing these guys come out of GB top team and of course the local gym here in Portsmouth, Gym 01. Nice show of respect. Samuel Welsh, Ozzy Jatta, round three here at the Portsmouth Guildhall. Yeah, I mean, I wonder if Foz is going to go for another takedown. Oh, nice shot there. That right hand's been good for Welsh throughout this fight. Oh, and a game with the right hand straight down the pipe. Jatta's going to have to keep that head moving. Doesn't want to be a stationary target. There's the clinch, and this is where Jatta's been good. Nice reversal though from Welsh. Who's going to come out on top in this? Scramble. Oh, what a scramble. Look, looking for a. Oh, I thought he was looking for a reverse triangle here. He's not going to get it though. It looked like it was there for a moment. Oh, it may still be. Looks like he's just going to be content to come out on top in this. Top position, he spins round, he's going to look to land some shots now. We saw him do this in round two, and we saw Jatta do this as well. Use his back on the cage to get to his feet, but you have to be very careful here. This is a bad spot. Both hooks are in. Yeah, this is going to be now. Ozzy Jatta's got to be careful here now. He's got to really fight the hands as much as he can. He's found himself defending submission attempts in all three rounds now. He's going to look to perhaps spin into the guard of Samuel Welsh. Oh, this looks like it could be tight. He's under the chin here. He needs to find the grip with the other arm, though. Yeah, well, this has got to be really careful. And you can finish with one arm. It is possible.
Jatta defending well here. Clearing that arm. And again though, Samuel Welsh. Looking back for that rear naked choke. He's got the body triangle in as well. Lost the gum shield there. Quick break to put that gum shield back in for Jatta. And we are straight back to the action. Not long left in the round now, less than half a minute. Welsh not letting go of that body triangle. Trying to find a way under. Yeah, really, really difficult to choke, you know, especially with these gloves as well. Of course, you're not allowed to grab the gloves, but you can trap. And it looks like once again, Ozzy Jasta will survive the submission attack of Samuel Welsh. A very hard fought, closely contested battle between these two young men. And it's going to be very, very interesting now to see how our judges uh, pick a winner from this one. I mean, you know, you've got those submission attempts. You would maybe say they were the most significant moments of the fight. Uh, a submission attempt in each round, a long period of, uh, of control and, and some strikes from the back. Both guys landing some good shots on the feet. Welsh with the right hand in that third round. Ozzy Jatta doing some great work with his control up against the fence in the early offings. I mean, once again, I'm glad that I'm getting paid to sit and talk about the fights and there's someone else getting paid to sit and judge them. De definitely. Yeah, and so Ozzy had some, some good takedowns there as well. His takedowns were really, really strong as well. So, yeah, definitely a tough one. Well, the scorecards have been tallied at cage side. All that remains is for our MC, Mr. Lee Thompson, to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, a fantastic three rounds. A round of applause for these Warriors. Come on. And after three rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to the ringside judges, where our judges have reached a split decision. Please put your hands together for your winner. In the blue corner, Ozzy Jatta. And your fantastic runner-up, Samuel Welsh.